Kinnock. Thank you, Mr Speaker, and I'd like to thank and congratulate my honourable friend, the member for Manchester Gorton, for introducing this bill. Mr Speaker, the constituencies that are created using this methodology are more of a random mismatch of voters than actual constituencies. And my own constituency of Aberavon has certainly been a victim of this arbitrary and poorly designed gerrymander. Initially, the boundary review proposals brutally cut into the town at the heart of my constituency, namely Port Talbot. The high street was cut off from the main shopping centre and the steelworks were cut off from the sandfields, the housing estate that was built for its workers. Fortunately, the Boundary Commission of Wales saw sense and reunited these communities in their revised proposals. Unfortunately, the upshot of this was that the Avon Valley and its communities of Bryn, Camavon, Cummer, Glencorog and Gwynvie have been separated from Port Albert and put in the neighbouring constituency of Neath. For anyone who knows the reality of life in our part of the world, this is clearly an example of cobbling together a mishmash of voters in, instead of building on natural communities with shared interests. As unacceptable as the initial proposals were to my constituents, the suggestion that the Avon Valley be cut off from the rest of my constituency of Aberavon is equally as bizarre and insulting to the culture and heritage of our people. There is a natural affinity between the communities of the Avon Valley and Port Albert. To disregard this would be to ignore these community links, leaving them isolated from their natural home and lumped into a constituency where they would feel sidelined because of the lack of community links. And the case of Aberavon illustrates the broader terms of the boundary, that, why the broader, broader terms of the boundary review are impractical, impractical and why they should be abandoned. Wherever you draw the line on a map, using the existing criteria, you carve up communities and force unnatural alliances between very different communities to create a new constituency. Far from being more democratic, it risks millions of people being alienated from the democratic process and without a voice in our political system. Of course, Wales would be particularly hard hit by this review, losing 11 out of its 40 MPs at a time where the impact of Brexit will probably be hardest on our part of the world and the need for the strongest possible voice in this place could not be greater. Mr Speaker, 600 is an entirely arbitrary number. And with the increased workload this House will have after Brexit makes it absolutely clear that the number of MPs should remain at 650. MPs should represent broadly equal numbers of voters, but this should not come at the expense of local community cohesion. Hear, hear, hear. Greater flexibility is need in, needed, therefore, in the review process to allow for constituencies to be more equal in size and the disparity in size between some of the smallest constituencies and some of the biggest constituencies to be reduced. But this process must, above all, recognise the need for local community cohesion and representation and recognise the ties that bind our people and the importance of the link between our people and our MPs. That, Mr Speaker, should be the driving purpose of this review, as opposed to the barefaced gerrymander that this Government is attempting to force through. Hear, hear.